Grandpa Elijah, my oldest and dearest worm. He has passed <gasps> on. Dad? Cool! Where is he? Uh, oh, he was the best of worms. Nearly 300 in worm years. He had 48 children. 96 grandchildren and 233 great grandchildren. Oh, no, no, it was 234. Oh, I forgot little Moses who dried out mm. the sun. Things to do with a dead worm. I could stamp on it, feed it to that baby next door, hide it in mom's underwear drawer, or have a funeral. How did I keep dead folks from getting stinky? My, but you asked the spookiest questions, Wayne. Mm, well, let's see. Uh, they embalmed them in a sterile... What's embalm? Um, well, it's a bit like pickling, I suppose. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Pickles! <gasps> Where'd you find these, Wayne? Your mom always hides them. <gasps> oh. <sighs> One more. Don't tell. No, Dad! That'll make your breath stinky. up nicely. <gasps> why? For pity's sake, why? Hmm. Hey! Cheer up, Flabface! Everything is arranged. Huh? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Grandpa Elijah would have appreciated it. My pleasure. Oh, he looks awfully good. Considering. He looks so peaceful. I've never seen him look so good. Wayne's the one we have to thank. Remember how he used to uh, burrow around? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. He was always at home underground. Remember how he used to eat earth and stuff? Oh, yeah. He enjoyed his food right up to the end. What a character. Uh, <clears throat> I've uh, laid on some refreshments inside. I uh, just, you know, I wanted to say thanks for... Well, everything you've done. No sweat. It was fun. No, really, I mean it. You've given him a great send-off, and I wanted to give you this. It's about the burial practices of the ancient Egyptians. I thought you might appreciate it. I know you like dead stuff. Uh, thanks, Flabface. You're welcome. <sighs> this doesn't mean I like you, okay? Well, <laughs> Of course not. Oh, dead stuff. You know, Tony, in many ways it feels like Grandpa Elijah is still here. That's because he is, Lucian. In the soil he turned over, in those he left behind, Grandpa Elijah is all around us, Lucian. 
Watch the swamp, Tit Lucian. It's the circle of life. One thing dies, and another might live. Thanks, Tony. I understand. So, um, how's Wayne enjoying his new hobby? <sighs> Loves it. He hasn't put that book down. In a strange way, the death of Grandpa Elijah has brought us closer somehow. Wow! Check this out, lizard legs! Wayne... This mummy stuff is cool! Look, a carrot! Uh-huh, very nice. But, uh, observe, I'm a bit busy. Hmm. See how peaceful this cheese looks? Wayne, I'm delighted you've got a new hobby. But... And this is my masterpiece. Does Mom know you've got this? It was past its sell-by date. Wayne... You're obviously good at this death stuff, but you've missed the point. These things have never been loved. But Dad loves chicken. No, you don't understand. The Egyptians mummified their loved ones. But these things don't mean anything to anyone. They won't be missed. <sighs> Dear sir, this is to confirm my order for an eco-fluffy swamp tit toy. Having seen this beautiful creature in its natural habitat, I am looking forward to adding it to my collection of scientifically correct endangered species soft T-O-Y-S, which... <gasps> is serious. What's in the barrels? Acetic acid. Trade name? Vinegar. I don't get it. Wayne's been pickling my teddy! But what's he gonna bury in it? I'll give you three guesses. Not. My endangered species just got a bit more endangered. I think he's finished. Look out! <gasps> Spooky. Shall we go in? You first. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's sick. You gonna open it? <gasps> my goose! It's horrible! Wait, this isn't gonna work. Why not? He has the taste for it now. Look, he started on another pyramid. That one looks human-sized. What can we do? He hasn't done the shorter tail ferret yet. Hand me a bandage. Tony, what took you so long? Sorry. Those boxes are kind of cozy. Well, he's a bit mangled and he smells kind of vinegary, but at least he's home. How are the others doing? Still drying out. Wait, oh. dear. Pop down to the cellar and get me a can of fresh and dandy. Thanks to your father's pickle addiction, this house reeks of vinegar. Okay, Mom. Ah! 